Hey guys, listen up for like two minutes. I'll make this really quick. If this isn't for you, there is someone out there that you know that really needs it. Please send it to them. This was on my heart to share. The world is really struggling right now. And the last place we need to struggle and fall apart is at home. We have to strengthen our houses. A house divided cannot stand. And you need each other. You need a strong house to get through these times. After a spouse cheats, yes, this video is about cheating. It takes months and years to heal. And if you expect to feel better tomorrow and trusting and secure in the weeks or even months after, you will set yourself up for disappointment. On a daily basis, you will feel pain. It adds to the already difficult process of recovery to have unrealistic expectations. And if you're expecting it to hurt and accept the hurting and that that's a normal part of healing, you have a better chance of getting through it. And healing is not a passive process. It is very active. You have to be very mindful of your every day, your thoughts each day, your actions and your communications with your spouse. They have to be healing and not adding to your wounds the words that are coming out of your mouth. Remember, healing is an action, not a passive thing that will just come to you. It won't just come over you. And if you think you can solve everything by just leaving and starting another relationship before you've worked on the forgiveness and all the other issues that led to the infidelity in the first place, that only sets you up to be tested again. Think, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to work on myself. Homework test time and pop quizzes are real in your marriage and you must do daily homework self-work to prepare to pass these tests that count toward your overall marriage report card and life report card read and work through my application for getting through the tough times it's called the collins method it's in chapter five that chapter is called third grade it's so important to note that we attract who we are. So there's something in you that attached to a person that has the flaws that they have. Use it as a mirror to fix your own flaws. If you're with a serial cheater, there has to be a point where you realize your worth and act accordingly. A matured person that really values themselves highly is already in a different type of relationship altogether. Whether they grew into that maturity with the person they started at the bottom with or if they grew up on their own and then attracted another mature person, it's a process either way. Both people, both people, the cheater and the victim have to admit they were not on the same page giving and getting the fulfillment out of the relationship, nor were they connected and nurturing the relationship to the best of their ability. That admission of guilt has to happen. It has to happen on both sides for maturity to be invited into the growth process. Remember, I say it all the time, the mature marriage was once a sloppy, hot mess. We all have to start somewhere. Love yourself so that you can love each other. I love you and I will catch you on the next video. Get my book, Growing into a Mature Marriage. It's on Amazon, barnesandnoble.com, and target.com. That's it for now, and I'll make another video for you guys again soon. Work on yourself. Love you guys.